So today we're gonna add a uh, one tracing to our basically animations or whatever you know. So we got the sword right here. So you can see it, it's a basic sword. Hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna put it in description. If not, just yell at me, okay? And let's just get into it, you know. So first things first, we're gonna do a custom event. And it's going to be called Start Sword Trace. Just start the sword trace. And we're gonna set timer by event. So, of course, you can do uh, event tick. No, you can't. Never mind. You cannot do event tick. Allied. So, let's promote that into a variable. Let's call it uh, Sword. Trace timer like that, and the event is a custom event, so let's have a custom event. Uh, sword trace loop that's so many loops, but okay. Of course, put this in a loop, and the time should be 0 0.0.1, 0 .1, maybe 0 0.01. You can experiment with it. But right now, from the sword trace loop, we're gonna do a sphere trace by channel. Uh, this one. And you can see we need the start and the end one. Uh, so that's pretty simple. Let's go to our third person. So in the third person character, we can go into a component. Let's get the child actor. And let's put that into our mesh right here. And let's name it a uh, sword. Let's name it sword. Right here, let's have the parent socket as the hand, right? Right here. So you can see now it's kind of weird looking. And the child actor class, we actually have to create that. So let's go to the combat system, right click, blueprint class, actor. Now let's call it BP sword. Open that up. Let's have a mesh, so it's a static mesh. So static mesh, and let's have it as a sword. Fine. Um. So we have that now. There's a lot of ways to actually do it, but this is the. Well, hmm. We could cap now. Let's do it easy. Let's do the arrow. So let's have the arrow. Uh, in the sword so this will be the start I'll do another one this will be the end so the start point basically where the so where the line trace or the sphere trace correctly will start so it's gonna start from here so it's gonna start from here and it's basically gonna end Right at the tip, we can actually and it's gonna end like that. So, compile and save that. Let's go back to our AT combat system. Let's get our player and get sword. So, it should be right there. Get sword. And basically, uh, get world, uh, world location. No, 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 I, I lied, I lied, we don't need the sword, we need the uh, start. So that should be right here, you get start, end, so the start point and the end point. I uh, get world location, and just plug that in there. Get world location and plug that into the end. So it should look like this. So the start goes into start and goes into the end. Compile, save that. Radius, let's do 25. And let's have port duration so we can actually see it. So now, from the return value, let's have a branch. From the out hit, let's break that. I think I already 
have done this before so on this channel of course uh, so from the hit actor actor has a tag because we want to only attack the enemy so enemy so if he has it what's our branch uh, we are attacking the enemy basically when we are gonna introduce the AI this will be the tag of it so if it's the enemy we can actually uh, deal damage now that's basically it so that's basically it for now yeah we don't really need anything else just for now later we can add uh, some sound some camera shake and uh, some emitters as well you know? so let's go to notifies and let's create a new notify this will be an um, not an <laughs> Anim Notify. Uh, this will be, it's not going to be Anim Notify, it's going to be Anim Notify State. So let's have it as a state. Let's call it Sword uh, Trace. Open that up. And receive uh, Begin Notify. And from the Mesh component, Get owner. Uh, BP third person character. From the third person, get actor. No, get uh, AC combat system. So AC combat system, and. Sword trace, right here, start sword trace. And uh, let's plug that in. Like that. So, you can copy these three nodes, copy that, it goes override, uh, and the end. Plug that in, plug that in, mesh component. So now we actually need uh, the stop, so let's go uh, stop the tracing. Uh, to do it, we have to go to back to AC combat system. Let's have a custom event. Uh, stop sword trace. So it's basically um, getting the sword timer and clear uh, invalidate timer by handle. And that's basically it. So now stop trace, plug that in. That's basically it. so. If we, if we go to our animations now, so here we have these two animations. So the first one, sword slash. You can see right when you attack right here, you're gonna have a new track. So insert new one. And this one will be. Sword trace right here. So from here to right there where the combo ends. So that's the first one and the second one from here. So let's have a new track. New one. Uh, notify state. So trace and to the combo end. Bam. So now if we play. You can see now we are actually getting the trace. You can see we have some holes in it. So if you like do the swing, it looks okay. But when you do the normal attack, there's some holes. So to fix that, we can actually make it faster, the timer, I mean. So let's do like that. So now it's still, it still have, have, has some holes in it. So. You can make it bigger, of course. Uh, you can actually add the radius bigger, so for example, like 30. So you can just mess around with the timer and the radius to get it perfect. But for me, I think that could be just uh, fine. So now you can see we basically have a sword. 
and of course the line chasing also. So that's basically it for today. Next up we're gonna do the stamina system, the health system and the experience. So we can actually gain stuff and then we can actually do the AIs later and stuff.